Local meets local. Hoke Orchard in La Crescent teamed up with the La Crosse Distilling Company to make a one-of-a-kind spirit. News 19's Warren Sears lets you in on that process. It's been two years in the making. High in the bluffs of southeast Minnesota, Hoke Orchards has been producing organic fruits, especially apples, for years. One of their most recent projects, a collaboration with a local distillery. Yeah, we've got a, another local collaboration uh, with the uh, Lacrosse Distilling Company. We're making um, an alcoholic, uh, mostly Harrelson apple cider. That cider ultimately being transformed into a new special edition barrel aged brandy. Brandies traditionally are um, created from grapes, uh, but they do make a apple brandies. Um, and considering that we're here in apple country, we really felt like we wanted to produce an apple based brandy. Everything we do here at La Crosse Distilling Company starts with it being farmer forward. With the uh, distillery being right in La Crosse, right in this region, we really get to have the, the terroir, the flavor of the land. And as opposed to them just buying organic apples or organic juice from wherever they can get it, um, this really represents the region. In 2018, Hoke Orchards pressed and fermented their own cider on site. Then they brought it here to the La Crosse Distillery, where it has since been distilled and aged for about two years in the barrels you see right next to me. Now all that's left is the bottling process. This is our first brandy release. After we opened our doors each consecutive year, got more cider from the Hokes. So this will be a continuation going forward of uh, a yearly brandy release. It's just going to be nice to see some of our Hoke Orchard uh, apples end up in, in one more La Crosse area product. First in line for the Bluffside Apple Brandy, Warren Sears, News 19. This special edition brandy is to ultimately celebrate La Crosse Distilling Company's second birthday. The brandy should be available towards the end of the month.